Hello my viewers, I want to welcome you to this lesson in Revit. In this lesson, I want to teach you on how you can create a Dutch gable roof in Revit. So what you are seeing here is what you are going to create. As you can see, this section of the roof, you know, is difficult to create for those of course who not know how to create it. It's not just like from the standard tools in Revit. You just have to apply some tips and tricks on how to create this part. And this is what I'm going to show you in this lesson. And it's very, very easy to achieve a Dutch cable roof, including the part there so that you can fill it with anything that you want. Well, you are going to see how to do it just in this lesson. Now, in addition to that, I also, for those who do not know how to create, you know, a gutter and the fissure board. I'll also explain quickly so that you can have a complete roof uh, that is a Dutch cable roof as you can see from here. So before I proceed, I just want to ask all of you, please don't just watch my videos. If I check my analytics, you find that I uh, just about 30%, you know, are subscribed to my channel. If, if it were possible, I want to ask all of you to subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell notification. That is very encouraging and you to allow me to produce more and more content because I know that people are interested in what I'm doing. So let me not waste time. Let's get started in this tutorial. Now, before I proceed, Again, I want to ask anyone who is interested in learning Revit architecture, Revit structure, and robot structure analysis in the course. Make sure that you check the links in the description. If you're interested in joining me in a course where I've explained the usage of the software step by step, you can join me there. Now, without wasting time, let me get started by deleting this roof so that you can see how I can create this, you know, gable, you know, Dutch gable roof in Revit. So I'll just select the roof just like that and i'm going to click on delete so we just have the walls as you can see from here so as usual to create a, a roof i can do it from the 3d view or if i want i can just go to level two so that i create my roof within here so to create a roof just go to architecture then we have the roof i'm just going to use roof by footprint later on in some upcoming tutorials we can talk about these other methods of creating a roof but i'll just click on roof by footprint then if you want you can define the slope okay let me just click on define slope and you can specify the overhang for your roof i'll leave it at 600 then once you do that, you come here under the draw, you see that we have the boundary. Of course, we want to, to click there to create the boundary for our roof. As you can see, it highlights like that. What you are seeing here is the overhang, the dash line there, it's indicating where the roof will be. Then I can now use these tools to create my roof. I can use a line, a rectangle, or even use peak lines or even peak walls, okay? If I just click on peak walls and just click on the roof, you can see that it's going to create the line at, you know, that overhang, which is 600. I can, instead of using the peak walls, I can as well use the peak lines and just pick that line. Okay, now the overhang is not, it has disappeared. I'll hold Control Z to undo this one. I'll use peak lines and just add the 600 there for my overhang. You can see that I just want to show that you can use all these as different ways. If I just pick that line now, you can see that now it's picking that one. So I use this other one. If you want, you can use a line to just draw it, clicking the first point, second point, just like that. Or you can use a rectangle. For example, if I just want to click that point in that point, as you can see, it will give you that overhang. So it will depend on the shape that is here for it to create the roof. So I'll just undo here and continue using the peak walls and make sure that the overhang is 600 and i'll just pick the walls like that the walls like that just like that you can see that it's going to trim the corners as you can see by using that tool and the slope is defined now let me undo once again again so i want to show you that you can also remove the slope once I uncheck the slope and I just pick that one, that one is going to place, you know, the roof boundary without the slope. So the options are entirely up to you. You can do whatever you want. Now, once you do that, you can click on the green check mark. Now, before I do that, I want to specify the 
the overhang i mean the slope for the roof there i can check this you know slope here and you see that if i zoom in here it's at 30 degrees maybe i can even just click within the box here and change it to 25 click outside click that one click 25 and continue doing that by clicking the line then within the angle there and type it you're able to do that click line click within the angle type the slope that you want then for these lines where i didn't specify the slope you need to click on the line i can even hold control and click this other line and you see that we have the defined roof slope here we also have the defined slope so you can click there and you see that it's going to give you a default slope of 30 and i can still change it from there or if i want i want to show you all the possible ways i can select that line and that line and change still from here i just want to have 25 click outside i have the boundary for my roof click on finish and let me click on the 3d view click outside you see that we have our roof as you can see from here now i just want to pick a different type so that the thickness of the roof can change i want it to be a bit thicker select on the roof click there and i just want to pick this one click outside set it to be thicker later on if i just click on the roof click on edit go to the structure I want to check that the thickness is 125 so you can change the thickness for your roof from here if you want for example if i want a 150 i can do that and click on ok click on apply you see that it changes okay so i'll leave it like that now that we have our roof we need to create now they you know the dutch cable here so this is the first step you have to create the roof the way i've just created it now we have to modify this roof by clicking on it okay i'll click on edit footprint i'll just go to the edit i just had to finish so that you follow but without even finishing i could have edited from here i'll just click on top there and now follow just follow what i'm trying to do here i'll just click on pick line within the edit mode click here and i just want now to sketch you know this is maybe at 45 it's okay i'll click there right click cancel click that point at 45 again depending on the shape of your roof i'll just click there right click cancel here i'm just sketching you can sketch anything that you want maybe i'll just start it here again send that up to you where you want you know the dutch cable to be so i'll just join it there then r on my keyboard to trim this line and that line this line and that line you can see that we are creating that shape now what you need to do let me just cancel there make sure that you just delete that line from there then just leave out these lines without any slope so the three lines this one and this one don't add the slope and just click on the green check mark and let me hold the shift and the wheel on my mouse to orbit like that you see that we have the roof like that now we have to create the roof within there and attach it there so that we can have that shape so all you need to do i can do it in 3d or i can just let it in 3d by just go on top there all right then i can simply go to architecture roof i'll use roof by footprint still okay it's asking me to say work plan okay i'll just cancel it okay okay let me do the set then the set work plan then i'm just going to pick level two so you can do that because i created this roof at level two okay so once you do that just click on okay because it was telling me that i'm not able to create the roof there so once you encounter that just know where you are creating the roof if you see that if i orbit here the roof is at that level so that is level two if i check and if i just go to south you see that that is level two so i had to make sure that i set the work plan then this time if i go there just go to roof roof by footprint that error will disappear and now you can see that i have the tools here and let me make sure that i select the same roof that i use click there then from here i'm going to use you can use pick lines if you want so i'll use pick lines you can just pick don't worry it's picking that face as you can see from here pick that face let me orbit here pick that face and then i just want to join this line and that line let me just go on top there so that i'm able to join it properly then i'll pick this one and just pick that line pick this one and that one and then before you do anything make sure that you now set the slope for this line 
and I still want to use the 25 which I use for the other parts so 25 degrees click outside so just set the slope for that line and click on finish click outside if I just orbit like that you can see that it doesn't align properly but this is not an issue I can orbit like that go to the left and I can still select on this roof and just click on move I'll pick that point and move it to that point and orbit like that you can see that it's right there so as you can see we have that part now we just need to create the infill there so what you need to do first go to set then set work plane but this time we want to use pick a plane click ok and I just want to click that face just click that face and we are just going to create you know some some generic object by going to component model in place we're just going to model in place that part click on model in place and i just want to use the family as maybe for the roof since this one is a roof i'll find the roof right there click ok i can maintain the same name click ok now from here i need to go to these tools under the forms and i'm going to use extrusion and these tools again will just help you to sketch you don't have to worry you can see that it has the depth and the offset but let me leave it where it is whatever i'm seeing here is what is also here so i'll show you what this one means i'll simply use the peak okay the peak line so that i'm able to pick that line there and that line and also that line at the bottom because i want to fill it there bottom then i need to trim the corners by tr on your keyboard pick that one and that one pick that one and that one you can see that is filled in now what it means is that from this plane this thing will come outward maybe by 250 i just want this to go inward okay let me first finish it you see what will happen if i click on finish you see that outward by 250 but i want if i want it to go inward 250 is too much so i want maybe this one maybe just by 50 and i want it to go inward i'll put a negative right here as you can see it goes inside by that amount if i just click outside i can still select on it you can see that i'm able to edit it and I can drag it inside and also using those arrows I want it to go inside a bit to achieve that depth there and as you can see I have it right there then click on finish you can see that I have that part you can even create some form of wood you can just change the material and sketch whatever it's some timber you want to put there you can sketch it but I just want to fit it like that I'll select on it click on edit I want to change the material for this now this is a model in place so if I just click on it you just need to go to edit in place then select it this is how it works then I'm able to go to I just want to edit the extrusion but before I do that I just need to go to the material then click there and I'm just able let me just pick this color which is white okay then okay um, we are not looking at uh, no materials right now but i'll just pick that material you can see that we have white just click on finish so as you can see we have the dutch gable roof now quickly let's try to create our fisher board and also the gutter just go to architecture then i'll go to roof i'll start with the fisher fisher board this is very very easy to do i'll just hover my cursor there as you can see and i can still check the profile that i'm using by going to the properties click there and i just want to pick you know that profile there then apply okay then if i hover my cursor there and click on tab i can select all the edges for the complete roof just click there then since this one was modeled differently i can simply click there and have the you know the fascia board there i can change the material if i want then i'll go back to architecture then go to roof and pick the gutter there and again i can move my cursor there and i just want to click the bottom part for my you know my fisher board then click there and orbit and just keep on clicking all right just keep on clicking as you can see i have my gutter right there as you can see orbit just click there and you can see we have it there then you can see that this part let me just right click cancel right click cancel click once again okay now it's in the right position as you can see so ladies and gentlemen this is how you are able to create now you can see that oh what's happening 
again this is misbehaving but i'll click on it again it's perfect now as you can see i have to move this gutter up a bit so all i need to do is let me right click cancel just select on the gutter there and you're able to change the vertical profile there let me say 150 a positive value it moves up like that and you can move it up and down by selecting on it if you want from here so this is how you create a dutch gable roof as you can see it looks cool and you can apply this method you know to create complex roofs with this type of uh, you know a design and you're able to achieve anything that you want so thank you very much see you in some upcoming lessons